a saint. And there are no lines that they were not crossed. But when that, when you get that type of love, you get that wicked. God sometimes is mercy is with the one that's really wicked because God is giving them time to repent. Why? Because He is giving them some evidence. No person will die on this earth that don't know the God is true. You don't get some proof or some evidence somewhere in your life to know that God is true. How many of you have almost been in the car today and you don't know how you get to that accident? A guy stepped out in front of my vehicle today. I don't know how I missed him. That's proof to me that God is real. He stepped out, he came out of the woods. And just stepped in front of my vehicle. And when I saw him, I did this, but I missed him by a inch. I know that was all. I was on the road. I wasn't looking at it. I was on the cell phone. I was a taxi. I was a delivery system. I was looking at it. It was daylight. God is real. How many of you have been really sick? And only God is real for God. That's your evidence. How many of you have been depressed and down and out and God came and gave you joy? That's your evidence. Have you ever not had any peace at all? And all of a sudden, the peace of God is in this place. I don't even feel bad about this situation. It, you see, sometimes we're looking for great victory. We're looking for God to crack the scout door and go on. But God operates by faith because He is faith. He's going to allow things to happen to see what you're going to do. Now I'm not with you. Now I'm not with you. Are you sure? So how do we develop our faith with God? You sometimes it takes years to prove a case when it's true or false. That's why I got unsolved mysteries and crimes because they don't have any evidence to prove that the person is right. But when God is in your life, He's going to give you evidence all the way until that thing happens in your life. I mean, if you pray for a child and you just you went everywhere and you couldn't find them, all of a sudden, God opened the door and got a job. How many of you done it? I've done that. That was your proof that God did it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you some evidence. Whenever God does anything, He's going to let you know. And if you got a connection with God before you die, He's going to talk to you. Because he wants to let you know, look, it's almost time to get your house in order. That's a wonderful thing. But God said, look, fool, repent. Put your days in number. Then turn around and change your ways. God will always get you an evidence. I'll give you a real good example. If you are a person that, I'm going to use this because this is a good example. When you ain't tired, every time you turn around, something happens. Y'all know the truth, say, I'm going to say, hey, hey. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. You're not tired and you don't do it right. Something always happens. And we don't see it sometimes until we think about it. Oh, God says, Or you say, man, I need this for something else. And you don't have, and then all of a sudden, your car breaks down. The canker worm is in your life. A canker worm comes to eat up your blessing. How do you think the canker worm gets that God to eat some more? I don't believe that thing. Read the book of Malachi. Read it. When you don't do what God asks you to do, things will happen in your life. Give you an example. I want you to tell me, don't ride in the car with those boys down the street when they're always still in the car. That was just like Jesus said, Look, don't go down there because you know you, know, you can't handle it. I'm going to get in the car and he goes, That was my proof. See, God speaks before the thing happens. And he may use someone else to warn you. If you don't listen, and then when it happens in your life, that's proof that God exists. I gotta get this. I'm trying to make it real simple because my next lesson will be a little different. All right? But I want to lay a foundation. Are y'all with me? So the first thing you do to prove to develop your faith is you do it number one by God's word. You 
lot of times we don't believe it because somebody else is telling us. And we don't want to listen to what they're saying. You know how many people have been preaching about the rapture, about Jesus coming, about Jesus on the earth, about changing the life, about witchcraft, about doing the right thing? You know how many preachers preach the exact same thing? I'll turn on the TV and Keith Jakes is preaching the message of that people. The exact same thing. And let me tell you something, you know how many people don't listen and don't hear what he's saying because therefore they don't have faith in him? See, how much time do you have faith in him? You know that my time is up. <laughs> See, I told you ahead of time. I think that's it now. I need the two hours. Foundation next week, we'll talk to back to Abraham. Amen. And we'll look at the Old Testament and the New Testament. All right? No, you didn't give us two, three words. Because I want to lay a foundation. And if I start a new division, I'm going to make sure that everybody is on one accord. You understand? Because I use connections now. I become a teacher. And I, I, I teach the building. I, I build. Amen. Into the house of people. Amen.
Thank you. 